G'day hi and welcome. All right, I got a little tip for you. I haven't heard any other motor vloggers doing this, but it's a little tip that, hang on, I don't want to show you too much here, but uh, um, if you got one of these and you hold your insurance in one of these, okay? Now, the thing is, is that what's a good idea, I'm just going to, I'll just show you the bottom half here. You see there's a couple of 20s in there, and um, the concept is easy, is basically to put what I call an emergency fund in there. So basically you got your insurance, all that stuff, uh, and you put maybe like say 20 bucks a paycheck type of thing in there, uh, and you forget about it. You forget that you have it, and it becomes a bit of an emergency fund. Now, I put the, I got about 60 bucks in there, I think, and I, I forgot all about it, so when I put it, checked it, uh, this spring is like, oh, geez, you know, um, you can put as much in as you want. The idea is that uh, let's say you're out somewhere and you come out and, oh, geez, you got a flat or your battery's dead or something like that. You got to get the bike towed home. At least you have the cash on hand. Uh, so you're not stranded. Uh, uh, maybe your bike, uh, is low on oil or you got to top up your on long trip. So it's a good idea to have a little bit of a emergency fund. And again, I know for some people they're tight on cash. They have a hard enough time coming up with gas money, but, uh, uh, that's fine too, uh, but you get the idea. It, it's just one of those things where you, you have it, not need it, need it, not have it. Uh, but a lot of people don't plan that. So it's like, okay, you're out and about, oh, maybe you went a little further than you thought. And it's like, oh, geez, I checked my wallet and there's no money in my wallet. And I left my bank card at home and my fuel lights on. Oh, check my insurance thing. Ah, geez. Uh, but you never spend it. You just, you just leave it in there unless you necessarily have to use it. So it becomes an emergency fund. Just a little tip. I've been doing it for quite a few years. I started doing it years ago with my, some of my older, uh, other bikes. Uh, I had two motorcycles that for some reason were really hard on spark plugs. I just couldn't seem to find the right heat range. My old R60 BMW, when I had it, uh, that thing went through plugs like every week. Uh, my Harley, it also went through a lot of plugs cause it was, you know, with the old carburetor. When I put the new carburetor on it, it was fine, but, uh, it would foul up the plugs and I'd have to do that. Cause I had a 1940 pan head as well. Now I got this. Now thing is, is, uh, every motorcycle at some point is going to leave you somewhere if you ride it. If you, if you put enough mileage on it, it's going to leave you somewhere. You don't want it to, but for whatever reason, and it might not even be reasons you would, uh, like I say, flat tires, low oil possibility, uh, run out of fuel. Yes, you will run out of fuel, uh, at some point, uh, <laughs> You know, it happens to the best of us, uh, even with a fuel gauge or a fuel light. Yeah, you're still going to run out. <laughs> even if you have the old school with just the, with the, uh, reserve with the carburetors. Yeah, you'll run out. It, it's happened. It happens to everybody. Uh, you always think you got a little more than you do. Uh, so things like that. It's good. It's just good to have that. Or maybe, um, something else, maybe not motorcycle related whatsoever. Uh, but you have that emergency. It's just so when you're out and about, you have something with you. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'll leave it at that tip. Keep it nice and, uh, keep the video nice and short. So yeah, so I'm just kind of warming up now. It's uh, nice and warm now, but, uh, I, I did about a hundred clicks there. So about 60 miles today, maybe a little more, uh, 60, 70 miles on the bike today. It, it was a little cold. The roads are cold. The tires are still cold. Um, you know, this time of year, it's only April 22nd when I'm making this video. So it's like, again, just be mindful of the, 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 the gritty, dirty conditions, especially on, you know, slow down a little bit more for your turns. Uh, keep in mind, keep more distance because you, you, when you're a little bit cold too, sometimes you're, you're not uh, as on the ball as you think you are. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. There we go.